Before a PhD, the best way to survive your PhD is by preparing and planning before you even start. Before your PhD, you have the opportunity and freedom to explore a range of topic, choices, supervisors, universities and more. Most PhD students I have seen have not done much preparation before starting a PhD and have chosen to do their research with academics they have had previous experience with, even if it was not very pleasant. In many cases, PhD students follow the path of least resistance when choosing their topic, supervisor and the institution. If there is money on the table and a PhD scholarship opportunity, they do not spend enough time thinking about the fit between the supervisor, project and themselves. Before accepting your PhD position, your decisions will allow you to avoid some of the most common PhD mistakes such as poor supervisor choice. Understanding your motivations before starting your PhD will help you find a better fit for your supervisor and the and project for surviving your PhD. Why do you want to do a PhD? One of the first steps toward completing and surviving a PhD is understanding your goals and motivations. Taking a moment to look deeply into your motivation for doing a PhD can help you decide if you doing a PhD if you if doing a PhD is right for you. Even though individual motivation among people pursuing a PhD varies, there tends to be a few common reasons for pursuing a PhD that pop up. These include wanting to be a, to become a professor, to pursue knowledge in an interesting field, delaying getting a job and extending the student lifestyle, not knowing what else to do, external validation and proof of cleverness, seeking praise from authority figures and more. Society rewards people who seek knowledge and looks favorably upon further education. It can be very easy to convince your friends and family that you are pursuing your PhD for all the right reasons. Only you know what is going on in your mind and there is likely something a little bit deeper going on for you to consider doing a PhD. It is up to you to delve deep and understand why a PhD is attractive to you. Finding your true motivation will help you decide if a PhD is really the right choice for you and then help your motivation when times get tough. My motivation? Probably not the best reasons to do a PhD. I had always overestimated my ability to perform well in exams. The teachers constantly told me how great I would do and predicted very high grades in my GCSEs and A-levels. The continuous praise meant that I would not study as much as I should have and would always fall short of my and my teacher's expectations. A PhD was something that I could use to prove myself and others that I was capable of achieving great things in academia. Another weird quirk, quirk in my family was that my auntie would call me the professor from a very early age. It got so ingrained into my family narrative that I was given a scientific calculator for my fifth birthday. This is a bit weird, right? 
I mean, why does a five-year-old need one? I often wonder if this is early conditioning from my family was why being the clever one was such a huge part of my identity and let me pursuing the highest qualification I could obtain. Interestingly, I was not also always very good in school. I used to kick my primary school teacher and would regularly be sent home for non-compliance and disruptive behavior where that I stayed in as long as I did given my turbulent start in education. In a nutshell, I did my PhD because I needed to prove myself and others that I could live up up to their expectations and moving to Australia seemed like a good idea. You need to look at your past and determine whether PhD is something you are genuinely interested in pursuing or it is conditions response to a deceit deficit in some part of your life writing down your goals and reasons for pursuing a phd degree is important for starting st starting strong motivations take a moment and write out the five top reasons motivating you to pursue a phd i would encourage you to delve deeper than the easiest socially acceptable answers you know what i mean statements like i am so passionate about where people nod their heads and close lips smiles at you this activity is not a statement of purpose and no one is making you on it you can be as honest as you want mine would read as follows to move australia and live in a country i loved during my year abroad the student visa requirement were very easy compared to immigrating to be different i was never one to want to take the default path in life and this was an opportunity to stand out and do something that not many people were doing Number three, because it delayed my entry into the workforce, nine to five job and adulthood. Number four, to prove myself and my disappointed teachers of the past that I could achieve that of a clever person. I have been as honest as possible in, in the above five motivations. On the surface, it would appear that I would not be able to complete a PhD as none of them are the textbook statement of purpose answers we parrot back to institution to get them to like us. Nonetheless, I was capable of achieving my PhD within three years. There was enough motivation in the selfish reasons to help me to finish. I am not saying these reasons are good, but they are my reasons. Understanding your true motivations will help you when times get tough and when you nearing end nearing the end, the motivation that bubbles up doesn't come from a good place. For example, I just need to finish this fucking thing is perfectly acceptable if the hate can help you push through the through to the end rage completing a phd is more common than we all like to think goals starting with the end starting with the end in mind is an important part of surviving a, surviving a phd this next bit may not be nice to hear but you are very unlikely to be the small percentage of phd graduate in an academic position or permanent role over my time in academia an increased casualization of the workforce resulted in fewer permanent positions role there was less focus on the new academic hires with university favoring much older and established professors with the track record of bringing money to the institution. Therefore, if your 
sole goal of doing a phd is to land in in an land and academic academic position it's time to think again one of the main reasons i was so disillusioned with academia after graduating is that i did not have any long term goal outside of my phd upon graduation i did not know what i wanted to do too many phd graduates are the same when i finally left academia all of my colleagues said they would not know what they do if they left feeling trapped in an occupation is a nightmare it is important that when you start your phd you have some idea about the sorts of occupation that may interest you upon your graduation this understanding means that throughout your phd you will be able to look for opportunities to grow specific skills certain areas to help support any career change or jump away from academia at the end of your degree take a moment to write down your goals upon completion of your phd here are some examples of the sorts of goal you may want to achieve by the time you finish your phd to build up evidence of skill valued by certain job such as coding data science medical writing technical writing science communication project management to make connections with potential industry employers improve my communication skills public speaking writing technical documents grow entrepreneurial skills to start your own business further study in other fields mba patent attorney no matter what you want to achieve by the end of your phd you have to ensure that you have the skills and evidence necessary to convince someone to employ you or have the necessary skills for launching your own business spend a bit of time thinking about what exercise what excites you about the future life you could lead after your phd getting away from the narrative that phd only qualifies you to pursue an academic career is an important step to surviving your phd and getting out of the other side with enthusiasm for the next stage of your phd career and life we have a habit of boxing ourselves into particular roles that we feel we should do rather than jobs and positions that are genuinely excited about even though you have a phd upon graduation there is no reason you can't go back to pursue a job that doesn't require a phd but you will find it much more fulfilling the phd is not one way street to a certain career but another door that opens to other careers a phd very rarely closes doors on other opportunities that existed before